Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and a very good evening to all of you. I hope you all are fine and yes, let's start our today's lesson. <coughs> uh, okay, so trick number 23 and we are reading, uh, studying page uh, the book How to Talk to Anyone. How to always have something interesting to say. Okay, let's start first. Uh, let's open the uh, dictionary first. Word in dictionary and then yes, let's start. So you have heard folks when, <coughs> wine I can't go the, to the party. I haven't got a thing to wear, right? So <coughs> uh, Please come here Okay uh, When going to a gathering uh, uh, I can't uh, <coughs> When going to a gathering with great networking possibilities You naturally plan your outfit and make sure your shoes will match and of course you must have just the right tie or correct color lipstick you you puff your hair, pack your business cards, and you are off. Oh, what a wait a minute, huh? Wait a minute! Didn't you forget the most important thing? What about the right conversation to enhance your image? Yes, are we actually going to say anything that comes to mind, or doesn't at the moment? Ah, you wouldn't you wouldn't don the first outfit your uh, your groping hand hits in the darkened closet. So you shouldn't. Leave your conversation to the first thought that comes to mind when, facts, when, when facing a group of expectant, smiling faces. You will, of course, follow your instincts in conversation, but at least be prepared in case inspiration doesn't hit. Okay, so the best way to ensure uh, ensure you are conversationally in the swing of things is to listen to a new newscast just before you leave. What is happening right now in the world? All the fires, floods, air disasters, toppled governments, and stock market crashes pulverizes into great conversational fodder. No matter what crowd you were, you are circulating in, it's it is with some embarrassing embarrassment that I must attribute the following technique to a businesswoman in the world's oldest profession. For a magazine article I was writing, I interviewed one of the savviest operator in the operators in the in her field, Sydney Biddle Barrows, Barrows, the famed Mayflower Madam. So technique, the latest news, don't leave home without it, okay? So the last move to make before leaving for the party, even after you have uh, if, if you have given yourself final approval in the mirror, uh, is to turn on the radio news or scan your newspaper. Anything that happened today is good material. Knowing the big deal news of the moment is also a defensive move that rescues you, rescues you from putting your foot into your mouth by asking what everybody is talking about. Food in mouth is not very tasty in public, especially when it is surrounded by egg on face. So Sydney told me she had mm, she had a house rule when she was uh, in business. All of the, all of her female independent contractors were directed to keep up with the daily news, so the so they could be good conversationalists with their clients. This was not just Sydney's whim. Feedback from her employees have had revealed that 60% of her girl's work hour was spent in chatting and only 40% in satisfying the customer's need. Thus, she in instructed them to read the daily newspaper or listen to a radio broadcast before leaving for an appointment. Sydney told me when she initiated this rule, her business increased significantly. Reports came back from her clients complimenting her on the fascinati fa uh, fascinating women she had working for her. Uh, the the consummate businesswoman, Mrs. Bros, uh, Barrows, always strove to exceed her customers' expectations. Ready for the big league for of conversation? Let's go. Ah, uh, okay. So this is part three. Okay, I think that that's enough for today. Okay, leave it. Inshallah, we will do it tomorrow. Uh, thank you and yes, Jazakallah khair for listening to me patiently. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.